Today, history was made as the Peace Ambassadors Network Nigeria hosted the 1,000 Peace Ambassadors, what they do every year. But today's own is different from the rest. The event is about to hold at the prestigious Nikon Luxury Hotel Abuja. Let's go in and see things for ourselves. I told my creator, if you will change the story of my life, I'm going to see every human being first. They are your handwork of the city. Before I see skin color, before I see tribe, before I see country, I want to see human being. And to the glory of God, the Lord turned the story of my life around. The ceremony began with an inspiring opening remark by the royal father of the day, the eighth Sunupi Al Haji Yahya Abubakar, setting the tone for the event. This was followed by a keynote address delivered by the mother of the day, Madam Esther Ajayi. I've come to tell you here today, see human being. Don't see the country. Don't see the color. Don't look at the religion. And that is how peace can reign all over the world. And then the change concerning peace is that from myself and yourself. We are not going to push it anywhere. What is causing war all over the world is because as human beings, we are losing peace. What is your own contribution towards peace? We bridge peace in the homes, in the community, in the society, regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of tribal borders. We make everyone live together as one. And as you know, in our society, if we all see ourselves as one, we won't have conflicts. So the fact that we are marginalized by different lines of tribe, religion, and, and ethnicity we, is, is what we have come to do to bring everyone into one family, one umbrella of a Nigerian, an African, and global citizens. I'm a peace ambassador already, you know, a peace-loving, patriotic citizen of this country, trying to make the country better, promoting unity with my platform, and uh, it's not a new thing to me. Uh, that is why I said I will do more. We will continue to, to preach peace all over the world, not only in Nigeria. We we'll preach it beyond where we are today. And uh, you know what's happening in the country? We pray the Lord should equally uh, uh, give us his own support to overcome insecurity and so that uh, uh, everybody will, will be in love with each other. Peace is the foundation of, upon which a nation can build his prosperity. Okay, and this peace, the, the peace, any nation which has peace, there will be a healthcare system, stronger healthcare system, a stronger infrastructure, and this will be a very strong uh, image for the upcoming generation. The only thing that can even make Nigeria better is when there is peace. If there is violence, it cannot stand. So the award and the program is very, very, very necessary to Nigerian. The first set of honors featured decorations and awards presented to the Etsunupe Al Haji Yahya Abubakar, Madam Esther Ajayi, and the UN Women Representative, recognizing their exceptional contributions to peace and development. We need peace. This is very important in all our endeavors. We need peace to progress. We need peace to develop. We need peace to do everything in life. Without that peace, nothing can be achieved. If the creator of the whole universe orchestrated that if it be in our power, that we should be at peace with everyone. And that is what the book of Romans 12 says. So be at peace. Where there is peace, there is no fire. And that is what should be huge at the back of, our, of ourselves. United we stand, divided we fall. A major highlight of the event was the oath-taking ceremony for all awardees, administered by a member of the ECOWAS court. I will uphold the principles of justice, and I will use my position to foster lasting peace and development. So help me God. Congratulations. This was followed by the unveiling of the Peace Ambassador's Diplomatic Business Network, marking a new chapter in the organization's effort to promote peace and collaboration. 
The 1000 Ambassador's Peace Award highlighted the importance of recognizing individuals who have shown exemplary commitment to a societal progress. It is by the amount of the work in your community, in your vicinity, and people's lives that you have touched. That is how it was. I believe this program is important to all Nigerians because no matter what, Nigerians cannot break. We still remain one love. To embrace each other and we should continue to live in peace and harmony. Nigeria is one. Nigeria is bigger than every one of us. And it's with these that we can be able to propel and move more together. It's our responsibility to make things work. So we will not say if uh, some other people have failed, we should allow the country to fail. It is our responsibility as Nigerians and patriotic citizens to, 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 to contribute our own quota to the growth of the country. So maybe in the next two years, three years, four years, Nigeria will be better than where it is today. And that is my dream and prayer. We should live in this country in oneness, leaving religion, tribe out of it. Let's look at ourselves as a creation of God Almighty, that God created all of us and brought us together under the umbrella called Nigeria. And we should make it work and let us live in peace with one another. And we hope in this cohort that we will do better and then we can bring further change to our society and the world at large. This, they said, happens because people are really committed towards dedicating themselves in nation building. The voice of the people is the voice of God, right? If the people are agitating for what they are lacking, I appeal to the government to listen to the people, do what they want, that is governance. If you listen to the people and you give the people sense of belonging, you give them comfort. Presently, the citizens need comfort. They are not comfortable. So if you can give them comfort, I think sky is an understatement. So they need to put more in the, in the society. If by the grace of God with what today God is using me to do in the land of Abuja, if we have three to four senators that do it, Nigeria will be greater. No country can just run without the women empowerment. We should, the government need to give women empowerment a special quota where these women can come and do business, start up business, and, be, and also security-wise, they should be able to move around, even if it is 10 o'clock in the night, 11 o'clock, there should be peace. I would always say the love for the people should supersede the love for the office. If government officials love the people more than they love the office, they will do what it takes to give everyone a good life. The only thing we need now is peace. It's coming at the right time, it's peace. And we pray that God should give us that peace. It will bridge the gap, you know, of the economic hardship and what have you. That's why a paper was presented, if you are there, you understand, bridging the gap of the diplomacy in economic uh, situation. So actually it will assist a lot. Well, all Nine News Nigeria can say is congratulations to all our Ds who also made it to this event. See you next year. My name is Nna Douglas. Nine News Nigeria, Abuja. Thank you.